How to create your product page with the butterfly. Hi guys and welcome back to another video here on this channel, WebWiz. So in this video, I will show you how you can create your own product page with the butterfly. Having said that, let's proceed. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here onto the butterfly.com so you can just simply search for it and then you'll arrive onto their website. Now once you're over here, you're just simply going to go ahead and start your free trial. You can buy it if you want to. And if you do, let me show you the pricing for that purposes. So here is the pricing table. So for pricing, it starts at free, $0 per month, and then it has $29 per month, $79, and $149 per month. So you can choose whatever you want. If you go with the free version only, you'll be able to have one store license, basic support, and free forever. And that's pretty much it. If you go with the starter plan, that's going to cost you $29. It includes one store license, access up to five add-ons, advanced support, and one quick integration. Same for the Pro one, the $79. It, it includes one store license, and you can add up to 30 add-ons, advanced support feature request, and one click integration. We're gonna go with the free plan. Simply click on start now and sign up. So just enter your first name, your full name, email address, your password, and enter your Shopify domain, which you can find on your Shopify store. Simply copy the URL and then you simply paste it right here and then click on the create an account and once you're done, you're good to go. So I've already created an account. I'm just simply gonna go ahead and log in. So once you've signed up or logged in, this is how it's going to look like you're gonna have your dashboard right here and on the left hand side you're gonna have your main options so you can start using the debotify theme by downloading it right here clicking on the download button as you can see over here on the left hand side you click on download thing and it's got to pop over here the, De the debotify theme you just simply click on the download button and you can go ahead and download it. There's also another way where you can go ahead and start adding it directly from your store, from the Debotify web website, and editing it over here. And I feel like it's much better to download the theme and upload it onto your Shopify store and customize it over here. So I've already downloaded the theme now. I'm gonna go ahead and it's all it onto my Shopify store so to install the theme go and click on online store over here on the left hand side and on themes you're gonna see you have add themes options right here in theme library just simply click on add theme and click on uploads zip file and then just simply drag and drop the zip file or you simply click on the button and then just simply choose the theme right here and just simply click on upload file. Share upload in a couple of minutes and there we go. As you can see, the theme has been added right here. Now we can go ahead and customize it. We can even publish it that way. Or our theme will be replaced over here currently. I have the Dawn theme. It will be replaced by the Debotify theme. So let's go ahead and click on publish to publish it. And there we go. As you can see, our theme has now been replaced. Now we can go ahead and customize it and add up all of our logos and add all our products and make it official. So over here, as you can see on the left hand side, we have a bunch of different options. All these options that have these little lighting bolts next to them, those are the add-ons options that come with the theme. So those options that 
don't have this both, um, those are the default options. So let's go ahead and try to edit. Over here on the top, you can see we have the home page. So you can select in and go to the product page right here. And over here is the default product page right here. And over here, we can go ahead and start editing it out. So just simply click on the home page over here. You will see the products. This is going to be your product section. You don't need to do anything right here to create a product page. Just simply click on pages. And over here, just simply click on create a template or get a full width of whatever you want to do. So let's go ahead and create a template and over here, you can choose whichever you want. But for now, we're just selecting default and we'll call it product page. And just simply click on create template and there we go. We now have a blank page right here. We can add different sections to it in order to create a product page. So this is how it looks like for now. I had to change the top form because I had to change it to another page. It's now assigned, so to do that, just simply click on change and it'll pop right up. So click on change. Over here, you can see the page. And now in order to create the page, you're going to have to go back to your dashboard. Underneath online stores, you will have pages select and the pages and over here you can add different pages so simply click on add page and you can add the name over here that's how i change the name of this page so i call product page now at the bottom we can go ahead and start adding our different sections so we can added a collection section just simply click on add section and choose a section that you want you could go with a video or a testimonial or a slideshow or gallery or featured content or featured collection or a collection list. It depends on you. So just go ahead and do that now that we have a collection page. Let's go ahead and sign different products to this collection. So to do that, just simply select the block right here. I have selected it. On the left side, we just simply click on select collection. And now I have already created a collection. And if you don't know how to do that, I'll show you in a second. So select the collection and click on select. And now you will have a bunch of collection. You can add multiple different collections for different categories. So you can have a different collection. You could have a bracelet or color or t-shirt, whatever you want. You can add different collections as you click on these buttons add collection or add signal it will increase the collection list so you could go ahead and customize it however you want and now let me show you how you can create a collection now again go back to your shopify homepage or dashboard and over here at the top you will see you have products and underneath products you will see you have collections just click on the collections over here, you can create a collection. Just simply click on create collection and over here, the name of the collection, whatever you want. And then you can go ahead and add a condition. So product must match this condition or all condition or any condition. You could go with a product tag is equal to this particular tag. So you can add it. So if you were, if it were a bracelet collection, you could add a bracelet over here and whichever product that has this tag would automatically be added to this collection. Well, it all depends on you. Then we'll go with the break sheet bracelet and we'll add a description however you want. You could also change it to manual so you can add manual products to it. But I feel like automated is much better. So it gives you a little bit more freedom and you can choose where you want this collection to be visible. And then you do simply click on the save. Now you can go ahead and add different products over here into this collection. As you can see, 
once you go back, you can select the collection and place it over here and showcase it. You can add feature products section as well. Just click on add section and go with the featured product right here. Simply click on feature product and you will have a feature product. Once it's done, once you've played around with it, you can go ahead and save it. It is already assigned over here, so there we go, it's now saved. Now let's go ahead and take a look. Let me go back to my Shopify dashboard to go on online stores. So here, as you can see, this is my website. In catalogs, we have our product page. Over here, it's going to be all of our products. This looks pretty similar. I added this section right here called the Mega Menu. You can add it by clicking on the header option. And over here, you can add a block right here. Click on Add Block and you select which block you want to go with the Mega Menu product collection. If I come over here, I can change it as well as I can change the menu. For that, I had to add the menu and over here, click on change menu and click on a create menu. It will take you over here where you can create. You, are, you can create a menu for your menu. I called it just pages whatever you want and call it, but it's just to showcase if you could actually do it. You add the title, you select the item right here and add it right here and you give it a name and you select it right over here where you have all your pages and I already show you how you can create a page. So you can just simply select it and then go ahead and the link and it added to your mega menu and then this is how it would look like. As you can see, I have pages option here. You click on pages and then we have our product page that we just created. As you can see, the Debatify theme is actually pretty cool. It has a lot of options and gives you lots of flexibilities. I highly recommend you to use the Debatify. So this is it guys, the end of this tutorial. I really hope that this video helped you. Um, again, this is WebWiz and we will see you on the next video. Bye!